What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. As the Browns finish 2017 the same way they started it, losing to Landry Jones and the Steelers JV team with some starters sprinkled in there as they lost today 28-24 in a hard-fought game by the Browns, but in typical Browns fashion, they just couldn't get it done, and they complete the uh, second ever 0-16 season in NFL history, joining the 2008 Detroit Lions as the only teams to ever accomplish such a feat. And um, talking about this game, like I said, the Browns showed a lot of fight. You know, they weren't going down like no bitches. You know, uh, they actually had a chance to win the game at the end, believe it or not. Uh, something that really hasn't happened much for the Browns this year. You know, they never really had a chance to win many of these games this year because we've always made a typical Browns mistake and then our opponent would go down and score an insurance touchdown or, you know, a field goal to put it out of reach and that would be game. But uh, the Browns actually had a chance late in the game to uh, take the lead and possibly win the game. But, of course, they came up short as a uh, fourth down pass to Corey Coleman wound up incomplete. And, yeah, a 16 season was accomplished. And now we get to sit back and hear about the 0-16 parade. Oh, joy. But, uh... Honestly, if I had to name a player of the game, well, actually, there is no player of the game because the team lost. But uh, Rashard Higgins looked good. He had two touchdowns. I actually forgot he was on the team, to be honest. Miles Garrett, he looked good. He finishes the year with eight sacks, which is pretty good for a bust, if you ask me. A lot of people were labeling him as a bust. And to be honest, you know... He was injured most of the season. He played 11 games, got eight sacks. Not bad. You know, uh, just can't wait to see him next year. Hopefully he gets fully healthy and he can go out next year and just tear it up. I'm talking about tearing up quarterbacks, not his ankle. I hope he doesn't, uh, you know, have to deal with any more injuries because I tell you one thing, if Miles can stay healthy, mm, he's a monster. Woohoo! Damn. Now, if we can just get Emmanuel Agba back healthy, we're looking good. But other than Miles Garrett, I mean, Joe Schobert, Christian Kirksey, they look good. You know, Brian Body Calhoun was actually one of the bright spots in our secondary next to Jason McCourty. But other than that, there really wasn't any other bright spots on defense. I mean, our front four was actually pretty good. Uh, Larry Ogunjobi uh, stood out. I mean, He's really one of the only other guys besides Ogba and Garrett that really stood out. Although I will say this, Caleb Brantley had a pretty sick uh, interception or whatever, a fumble recovery as Garrett hit Landry as he threw the ball. Ball popped out, landed right in Brantley's hands, and uh, Brantley caught it with like one hand. That was sick. But um, yeah, how about that though? Caleb Brantley, sixth round pick. He looked good. I think he could really make a giant leap next year. I mean, uh, Clyde Simmons, he made this defensive line formidable. We haven't had a defensive line this formidable in years. Now, like I said, we just got to get Emmanuel Logba healthy. And uh, I think we'll be uh, looking good for next year. If maybe we can get rid of Greg Williams and uh, his trash-ass defense. The dude literally blitzes almost every freaking down, and we barely get any pressure. And don't even get me started on him having the corners sit 10 yards off every freaking down. And then you got him uh, having Jabril Peppers playing 30 yards off the line of scrimmage. I mean, we saw what Peppers can do when he's actually in the stadium, like when he's actually uh, involved in the action. He had two sacks which were gimmies because Landry uh, had a bad snap both times. And then he even had an interception. Yeah, his first career interception. That was awesome. 
But really, other than that, I mean, defense looked all right this year. You know, they weren't too bad. They kept us in a lot of games, especially when the offense was garbage. Now, on the offensive side of the ball, if I had to name an offensive MVP, Duke Johnson, without a doubt. He was arguably the best player on our offense, bar none. Uh, I mean, the dude was making plays all over the field, you know. I think he actually led the team in rushing yards, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But he was definitely our best running back. And arguably, he's our best receiver until Josh Gordon came back. But still, Duke Johnson, one of our best players on our offense, bar none. But, uh, yeah, nothing really else to talk about. Of course, Hugh Jackson will be back as our head coach next year, which I know pisses a lot of Browns fans off because they want him fired. I mean, the dude's 1-31 and as Browns head coach, and yet he's coming back. When I've seen coaches who've won dozens of games and they get fired. And yet he was only won one game and he's still here. Heck, he shouldn't have even won that one game. Jamie Meter is the reason why he won that game because he blocked a field goal and then Lambeau missed another field goal as time expired. Like, he could have easily been sitting here at 0-32. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, God. Oh, man. Imagine going two consecutive seasons, 0-16. Oh, God. I wouldn't have been able to handle it. Oh, man. Thank you, Jamie Meter, for uh, getting us that W, blocking that field goal. Because i tell you one thing. Oh, God. If we were to go 0-16 two consecutive years, I don't know what I'd do. For real. And now, after this crap, we got to deal with Hugh Jackson next year? Oh, my God. I just hope John Dorsey goes out there in free agency and brings in players who can actually help us win games. And then come draft time, I'm pretty sure we're going to draft a young quarterback, whether it's Rosen or Mayfield. Watch it be Lamar Jackson. Wouldn't surprise me. And uh, Saquon Barkley or Minka Fitzpatrick. Just go out there in the draft and get players who can help us win games in, dra in the draft and free agency. You know, get players who can make an impact on this team. And, oh, yeah, how about uh, drafting some Ohio State Buckeyes? I don't know if you guys forgot, but uh, there's a freaking football factory a few hours south of Cleveland in Columbus. They're actually pretty good. They've got some good players. Um, might I recommend drafting some Buckeyes? You know, bring some uh, Ohio State flavor into Cleveland. You know, that'd be cool. But uh, I don't really know what to expect for next year. If I had any wishes, um, I would say I want – Chris Tabor to be fired. I want Greg Williams to be fired. Hugh Jackson to be fired. Hell, fire the whole coaching staff. Minus a few guys like uh, Clyde Simmons because he actually turned this defensive line into a force. Literally fire everybody except for Clyde Simmons because the defensive line, it's good. I like it. Too bad they couldn't get pressure because, you know, injuries. But still, I like the front seven. Got a nice place to start on defense, just to work on the secondary on defense and then on the offense, just get us a quarterback, get us a number one receiver, you know, maybe a good running back who doesn't trip over his own two feet and can actually push a pile. That'd be good too. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you were looking for me just going crazy, you know, breaking stuff, throwing stuff, throwing a freaking shit fit. Well, sorry, I don't do that. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. 0-16 actually happened. I did not see this coming, but yet it actually happened. And I'm freaking pissed off. But, yeah, now it's off season, and uh, hopefully the Browns can uh, actually uh, get better. And maybe we win some games next year. Maybe next year I will actually be posting some victory videos for once. 
I mean, ever since I've joined YouTube, we've only won four games. Like, that's, that's embarrassing. Since 2015, when I joined YouTube, we've only won four games. Like, that's crazy to think about. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave YouTube, you know? But, um, by the way, I'm kidding. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go, Browns. I'll see you guys uh, whenever the Browns make news. <laughs> All right, I'm out.